Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to be reviewing the new Rocket Air AR glasses that I just got. Uh, I'm buying these and I'm actually just unboxing them. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come <laughs> on. All right, maybe I just put the camera on the on the ground. Let me see if I can do it with the other hand. Uh, I bought them for uh, to use as VR glasses with my drone. So I'm hoping that. Let me see if I can do this. Ah! I think I need two hands. Stand by, stand by, stand by, stand by. I'm gonna put the camera here on the ground and I'm gonna open this. Oh, wow. Very nice, very nice. So it comes with a nice little uh, package here, a box, and it's like hard case. So very high quality, right, Kitty? Uh, so, wow, wow. Miss Kitty here, she wants to find out also about the VR glasses, or the AR glasses. Why, you no longer interested? Come here. Oh, yeah, I know you are. <laughs> All right, so the glasses, uh, I really like the nice uh, hard case. Uh, and assume that here we have like the charger or uh, if there's a charger or some accessories. So this is a USB-C cable usb-c to usb-c cable okay all right that's that's good and this is just a standard uh, um, cloth to clean the lenses wow so the glass the, the, the case is actually fitted it's not like it's just sitting in there and moving it's just fitted for the hard cover so this is nice it can move I really like the size of this. It's actually pretty small, very easy to 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 carry. I like that it has a little thing here so you can put a like a clip to clip it. Uh, and it's a travel size and looks nice, looks sturdy. All right, so let's open this and see what it looks like. Wow, wow, very nice, uh, nicely packed. I'm gonna show you a little closer to the light. Wow. All right, so after uh, I uh, scanned the QR code, I was taken to the uh, to the market where I'm downloading and installing the Rocket Air app. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and ask me for permissions, blah, blah, blah. I wanna get permissions while using the app, allow permission to access photos and media. All right, please the Rocket notifications access. Okay, so allowed. Then I'm going back to, all right, so I have a Samsung phone and it's giving me some instructions to move the ray in the glasses to the bottom left corner and select exit DEX or DEX. Then open the, on, uh, the app on the phone. Got it. So I'm gonna check the glasses. I'm gonna do the connections. Uh, I'm gonna connect the, uh, this thing to the, uh, to the glasses, the USB-C, and then I'm gonna connect it to the phone like this. And then I'm gonna turn on the glasses. Oh. Samsung DEX, the temperature device might increase when using Samsung DEX. There's land to terminate the room. We change the settings, start, rocket air. How to open the touchpad on your phone. Oh, cool. Okay, so got it. And then, oh, so I guess it's asking me to create a new account. Oh, this is, I've never seen this DEX. So this is like a mouse, creates a mouse. Hmm, that's pretty awesome. All right, so I got the glasses, I connected to the phone, I didn't create an account, and it automatically displays my phone. So I can see all the apps, just like if I was uh, looking at my phone, go, what do you want me, what do you want? You want some attention, don't you? So the, guy, the cat has to steal the show, uh, sees the boss. So anyways, she can do whatever she wants. Anyways, I can see like a projection, I would say like a 40 some inch TV in front of me. Uh, the borders are a little blurry and actually I had to put the glasses all the way like completely to my, to my face to view the bottom of the screen. Uh, the, the top of the screen, I have no problem. The bottom of the screen, I had to push the glasses pretty much all the way flat in my face. So I cannot, I play with the uh, little adjustments here on the top of the glasses, these adjustments. And uh, on each side, uh, 
but I can't get it to be completely, completely clear, especially on the, on, as I'm viewing the image on my right side in front of me, like the right side of the image. I cannot get it to completely be um, clear. It's a little blurry, but I don't care as much. Now I am testing it outside to see what it looks like because right now I can see all the apps nice but I'm projecting the image to, against the wall and there's nothing in the wall so I want to see how it looks when it is daylight all right so right now I'm outside and uh, I'm in my balcony and I am projecting it through trees and I can see the apps uh, there are you, I can see through them uh, now, if I'm looking at things that are more transparent, let's see, the sky is very bright. I am not able to see much. So now if I'm looking to the ground, because the ground is darker, then I can still see the apps. Now, still the right side of the image is still blurry. So I can't really read that. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can adjust. Uh, the glasses to read a little bit more because if for any reason there is some information important information that get this gets display on that side of the screen i'm not going to be able to understand it very well now i am just putting my hands on on front of the glasses to cover the glasses and everything is so much more clear than when it is transparent unless i'm looking at a dark uh background okay so that's something to keep in mind okay because if you're looking and i'm the intention that i have for these glasses to be a, a like a, a vr or a or a, what they call fpv so i can fly my drone and see exactly what the drone is seeing without looking at my phone uh, so that i can i can uh, get a better and clearer and bigger picture uh, to, uh, of what my drone is seeing uh, so i'm a little concerned that unless i put something darker in front of me is the only really the only way so maybe maybe these need some sort of a uh, cover uh so you don't actually have to see through when you're in the daylight bright daylight and obviously you're not going to be able to look at the uh at the sky and be able to to see very clear uh because it's so bright that there's so much light coming in so what i might do is you know cover these with something when I'm doing the FPV, especially if I'm outside. Now, uh, the your phone becomes a mouse. Let me unlock it. This so the phone is is like a mouse. You can't really see it right now because I'm outside. But let me come inside and show you. So I have the phone connected, and now I don't know if you can see it, but I have a few controls here, and these the, the phone has been uh, is divided into four sections. Let me see if I can see this. Hopefully you can see that. But uh, basically this is a mouse. And every time I move this on my screen, I can see a mouse. And I can move my two fingers and it's gonna scroll in my phone. So basically I'm seeing all the apps in my phone and with this I'm moving the whole thing. And it goes in a scroll, That's oh, this is nice. It makes it so much simpler, so much easier. Let me see, I'm gonna open uh, any apps. Uh, let me do like YouTube. I'm just curious to see what it looks like uh where's my youtube <laughs> i don't know if i even have youtube installed do i i'm gonna do a search um oh i wonder if i have you can add shortcuts to home how can i type here mm -hmm. i'm not sure let me see i'm gonna do a little research and i'll get back with you okay so i have an update so the glasses are connected to the phone via the USB-C, okay? Turn this back on, via the USB-C. So I was trying to connect my drone's control to the phone and also to the glasses, but hey, this has to be connected to the phone, so, so is the controller from the drone. So <laughs> we have a problem. Now there's a USB-C connector on my phone, on my, I'm sorry, not a phone, on the drone's uh, remote, which I thought, and I assumed that by connecting the glasses to here, it will, or it would uh, mirror or show or display 
the stuff from the drone or from the image from the drone into the glasses, but they do not. I try doing the opposite, connecting the, uh, the drone's connection on the back to the phone, from here to the phone and from here to the glasses, and it still doesn't work. So I've been reading online and I've been uh, watching some videos and apparently I'm gonna need an adapter, like a wireless adapter, purchase a wireless adapter for another 100 and some bucks to be able to connect these glasses uh, wirelessly to the phone so that I can actually connect the phone to the to the um, to the uh, controller and then from there cast the image into the glasses via that wireless adapter that I had to purchase separately. So that's a deal breaker for me. I'm, I'm gonna have to spend these glasses cost me about 300, 300 plus dollars on Amazon. Plus, I'm now gonna have to spend another 100 plus dollars to connect it via wirelessly. I think it's a little too much. I think it's a little expensive. So, I think I'm gonna pass. What do you think, Kitty? Do you think we should go get it or? <laughs> uh, no, no, it's too much money. It's a lot of money. And uh, in, on top of that, the glasses are nice. They're actually sharp looking. They're cute. They're 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 nice but i'm gonna have to put something if i'm uh gonna use this outside i'm gonna have to put something to cover i'm gonna disconnect this i'm gonna show you the glasses a little bit better i'm gonna have to put something on on the front of the glasses to darken the uh the the, the, the view because otherwise it's so bright when I'm flying this on the daylight or I'm putting this on the daylight that I can't really distinguish the screen. So this is not gonna work, okay? Unfortunately, it's a nice idea and for some people it might work, okay? Don't get discouraged. Uh, depending on the application or what you want them for, like if you want them to like watch something different, uh, like if you're uh, watching a movie at home with your kids or your family and you wanna watch something differently, you can put this on indoors and you can be watching a movie or on the plane or a flight you can be watching uh something different or something um uh, uh privately <clears throat> and for that they will work for what i'm intending to use them which is to fly my drone and be, be being able to to see what the drone sees they're not gonna work because i the glasses are directly connected to the phone and the controller has to be connected also directly to the phone. So in order for me to, to view the phone on the glasses, I had to purchase that additional controller, which is you know another hundred and some bucks. Uh, and then just to be broadcasting that image. And on top of that, I'm gonna have to, or I would have to get something to darken this, this uh, um, um, shade so that, because using this on the daylight is so, the daylight is so bright that you can't actually see uh, the image that clear. I will have to completely darken or really look into uh, something really dark background, like a dark tree or under the shade of a tree, which really def defeats the uh, the purpose. Because with this, with my phone, when I put my phone here on the on the drone, if I get into a dark area or a darken or a you know background or whatever. I can st I can see it. So the purpose of the glasses, the reason why I wanted to use the glasses so that I can see what the drone is seeing, but I can see that already on the screen without having to spend 300 and some bucks for that. Uh, so for me, it's not worth it. I'm gonna return them, uh, but I hope that this uh, gives you a clear idea for if you wanted to use this for uh, for a drone. Uh, you're gonna have to get something to, sh to cover the shades so that it makes them darker. Uh, but if you want them for something for like indoors, these are really cool. Actually, they're not bad. They're not bad. Now, the other issue, as I say previously, is this right side of the screen for some reason is a little blurry. So I couldn't figure out how to make it. And I play with these con these um, settings, these two uh, turning things, uh, these wheels. So because that, that depending on your vision, you can turn into adjust to your vision, to your eyes.
but I, I turned in both of them a few, you know, I tried uh, diff many different ways and I couldn't get them to it to adjust exactly a 100% so that you could see everything 100% uh, without any um, blurriness. So on the, on the right side, on this side, it's a little blurry. I could not fix that. So, but in general, they're nice. They, they're getting better and better, cheaper and cheaper, smaller and smaller, which is nice. Uh, they are, uh, they look very sharp, very well, well built. Uh, it's just that they are not gonna be uh, useful for my application, maybe for yours. So best of luck to you and thank you for watching this video. I hope uh, that it helps you decide whether or not to buy these glasses i'm sure the i'm sure the prices are going to be cheaper and cheaper as more technology more uh competitors uh come out in the market but hey they're getting there i remember a few years ago they were so big and so uh uh i mean they look like <laughs> you have your whole face uh, with a device that look like awkward these almost look like sunglasses really if you from the distance somebody can if they see you, they think that you're probably wearing some sunglasses, so they look much better. Anyways, I hope this video helps you. Thank you.